like cookie cutter, clean. Hey guys, it's Kim. Hers is like, I think, super well done. And then Chloe is just so fun and she tells you what it is and she's just so relatable. Hi everybody, I wanted to say thank you so much for coming to my website. Kendall's is more like documentary style and like she's always on the go, so it's more behind the scenes and model life. Today, we're cleaning out my closet. Just hours after the reality stars announced the launch yesterday at the Apple Store in Soho, Kylie's app shot to number one. And all that Kardashian content? Well, it comes at a price, $2.99 a month. And yeah, that's for each girl's app. How do you respond to the fans who are upset that you guys are charging for the app? Well, I spent so much time into it. Our Carly Steele asked Kylie about the cost today at Vera Wang's Spring Show. So if they want to know real personal stuff that like makes me a little uncomfortable to share, then like I don't think it's that big of a deal. You put the work in and it really shows. I put shows. the work in. I think that if they did charge more for this app, people would still buy it. I mean, these girls could charge up to $10 a month and you'll still have the same amount of people out there who are going to want to see all the exclusive content that they put out. For instance, Kylie shot down rumors she had breast implants in a video posted exclusively to her site. I'm going to share with you guys one of my tricks. I love the video you did yesterday saying, these are my boobs, I these know. are real. I just love my body, so it's just funny that people made that up. ET's senior news editor Jennifer Perro says the app launch signals a Kardashian shift. I think after today, instead of having this one family known for this reality show, you are going to have four girls that are going to each be making their own brand. Bye.